at night. Alright guys, this is a 69 version at night. We weren't planning on it, but we got some new light fixtures, so we got some lighting now. It's daylight, it ain't night. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock, doesn't mean It's still, even though we got good lighting, it still counts as an at night version. So here's the at night version of the 69. Justin's feeling motivated. We're putting in the, what is it? Comp Pro? Pro Comp. Pro Comp, say it backwards. Pro Comp. Um, distributor going in to the 69 before we paint. So we're gonna get it in there under the hood and cover it over and then spray. All right, Justin, explain away. All right, so what I did to prepare pulling the distributor, I bumped the motor over till I had a reference point on the rotor, which in this case is straight ahead. And just so happens the vacuum advance is straight ahead. So when I drop the when I drop the new distributor in, I'm going to line up the vacuum advance straight ahead and the rotor straight ahead, and we should be real close to uh, the same timing as when I took it apart. So before you pull a distributor, make sure you line it up with a reference point or put the motor on top dead center, and that way you've got a starting spot instead of a million different options. We got some lighting, frontal lighting for, for Justin, because now we've got all this bright lighting coming down. We're getting silhouettes going on here, but you don't, you don't have to. I've got a silhouette. But you're looking really handsome there. Don't worry, you're good to go. <laughs> I mean that in the most heterosexual way. I'm sure you do. <laughs> All right, when you pull this out, if you notice the rotor turns, the um, since the gear's not straight cut, so be prepared when you install the new distributor. It will not be straight when you put it in. It's going to have to be off. So kind of just judge it by your old distributor when you put it in. In this case it was straight and now it's off that far. And as you put it in it will line itself back up like so. Nice. Good explanation. Man. Now that's Mustang Medic value add there buddy. Very nice. Ricky get in the video. Say hi. Ricky's here. Will say hi. Somebody was asking where's Will Jr. <laughs> well, junior. Yeah, well, he's William the second, but sometimes they call him Junior, uh, Junior Mustang Medic. Yep. And here's a hey, shot of the it? new Pro Comp ready to run distributor. It's full electronic. It's real basic. You hook a power wire up to it. You hook the ground, or hook the other wire up to the coil, and you're ready to go. You got your vacuum advance on it. And it's full electronic. So this little box here is full of electronics is in there. So uh, you know, nice new shaft, new bearings, and everything's nice and it's a little bit nicer looking than the original. <laughs> I'd say. And the price, ProComp sells this $75. for $75 on their eBay site. To get a Pertronics conversion kit, you're looking at $65, $70 bucks anyway. Might as well get a whole new distributor that's designed for the electronics instead of converting this over from points to the electronics. It's just easier. It's been a couple dollars more, but in the end, you got a brand new distributor and it's all set up ready for it. Hang on, buddy. Look before it falls. Yeah, so it lines straight up. So you're pretty sure you're in the right tooth, aren't you? Yep. That way That's I know cool. when we go to start this thing up, the timing's going to be real close to what it was. I'm not going to fire it up and stuff tonight because it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> but it's going to be in. What, you're saying the Mustang makes a lot of noise? Is that you're trying to say? <laughs> no, my brain doesn't work that much. <laughs> My time light has hours of operation. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Alright, so she's in place. If you appreciate her efforts and caught the vision of Mustang Medic, please make a donation for the cause via PayPal. Our PayPal email address is paypal at mustangmedic.com. Thank you. Here is a pretty alternator. Alrighty, we ran into a little snaggle here. I just realized the new style cap for the Pro Comp runs an HEI Chevy style spark plug wire end instead of the original Ford uh, female style uh, cap end. So, um, might have to change the plug wires or find a kit to where we change the ends to the HEI style. Um, so we'll see what's going on here. Crap, new plug wires. This keep coming, Jeff. We're right down to the wire here, so new plug wires, and uh, we're doing paint tomorrow, and we'll have this finished up, and we're also going to do the sending unit, so that's going to be a night for us. Distributors in, but we need new plug wires. Say good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Look for a link in the description for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com.